President Trump holding up, then tossing away a bunch of regulations during his speech on how to rebuild bridges and roads quicker. He says cutting all the red tape coming out of Washington will help fix our infrastructure across America. Gary B says he's right. Exactly. It's the most important thing you can do after tax reform. A couple quick facts, Dagan. The Small Business Administration estimates that government regulations cost businesses $1.75 trillion a year. The Federal Register, we, Registry, where all these laws is 81,000 pages, 50% more than during Reagan. And finally, Dagan, 10% of American businesses go out of business each year by market forces. How much does government shrink each year? It never does. It grows like barnacles on the Titanic. Trump is right to do what he's doing. Emily. Yeah, Donald Trump uses his kind of unique apolitical personality to channel the frustrations of the bipartisan working class. That's what he's doing. This is why he was elected. It may look silly to elitists in the media, but it resonates with the American people. If he's able to focus on this somehow, um, the Russia investigation will be relegated to the echo chambers of the leftist media. John. Last time we had regulation reform was 1996, the Small Business Fairness Act. We've had 21 years of just regulation stacked upon regulation. This is one of the best things you can do for our country. Jeff, Jeff. Uh, I've heard many rightists, I guess we would say, talking about Russia as well. Uh, but to the general point, yeah, we are overregulated, but Donald Trump is being completely inelegant about it, not just in how he held up that binder, this kind of two for one rule. I'm going to get a, you know, rid of two for every one that I create. Uh, shows a complete lack of focus and lack of understanding actually for what he's going after. Um, so be sensible about it. But Jonas, you need to get rid of these regulations and ease the permitting process if you're going to get people to invest in infrastructure in this country. It's definitely half the game, half the spending. These, these projects aren't going to build themselves because there's no regulations. It's his strongest area. I'd say it's stronger than taxes because he can get Democrat votes in this area without question, even with all his current problems. That said, if you pull away federal regulations, you are leaving a patchwork of even dumber state regulations, things that they don't let electric car like Tesla in your state. That stuff needs federal oversight. Who gets to fly drones? There's a million examples like that. Thank you, guys. Thanks to everybody. Special thanks to Emily and Jessica. Always thanks. great to see you, ladies.